I can help. What a day this has been. Running here, running there. There are blocks scattered everywhere and toys all over the sofa. Who will help clean up? I can help, says Kermit. I was playing with those things. I'll stack the blocks. I'll put away the toys too. Just look at all this laundry. So many clothes to wash. Who will help sort it into two piles? One for light clothes, one for dark. I can help, says Fozzie. Sorting is fun. Light stuff here, dark stuff there. Snack time is over. And my, was it yummy. But what is this? There are crumbs on the floor underneath this chair. Who will help clean them up? I can help, says Piggy. I'll sweep up the crumbs with my little broom and dustpan. There's a fire truck on the stairs. There's bicycle blocking the hallway. There's trash that needs sorting. There's a tired nanny who needs to take a little rest. Who will help? I can help, says Rolf. I'll put the fire truck away in the toy box. I'll park my bike in the corner, says Skeeter. I'll sort the trash, says Scooter. Plastic here, newspapers there. And we'll all play quietly by ourselves, so Nanny can get some rest, says Kermit. The sun has set. The day is almost over. There are some tired little ones who need to get ready for bed without making a big fuss. We can help, say the babies. We'll put on our pajamas and brush our teeth and wash our faces and get into bed and wait for our kisses. We're very tired because we've had a busy day being good helpers. Pooh helps out. Winnie the Pooh sat on the edge of his bed and looked all around his cozy house. Nothing to do, he thought. Pooh tried humming a little hum. Hum da dum, he hummed. Well, that's a nothing little hum, he sighed. After a while, nothing to do began to feel quite bothersome. Maybe I should find someone to do nothing with, he thought. That would be so much more cheerful. Pooh knocked at Piglet's door. Piglet, he said. I've come to see if you'd like to do nothing with me. Oh, I'd like to do nothing, said Piglet. But first I have to wash my dishes. Pooh brightened. Oh, may I help? Yes, indeed, cried Piglet. He handed Pooh a towel. Piglet washed and Pooh dried. When all the dishes were stacked neat and clean in their cupboard, Piglet said, Thank you, Pooh. That was the perfect chore for two. Now I'm ready to do nothing. Pooh hummed. Piglet wiggled his ears and tapped his foot. Pooh yawned. Then Piglet had to yawn too. Pooh, Piglet asked, are you having a lot of fun? No, said Pooh thoughtfully. Doing nothing is not a lot of fun. I was thinking, said Piglet, maybe somebody needs us to help them with something. Something would be much better than nothing, agreed Pooh. Let's ask Owl, said Piglet. And with that, Pooh and Piglet set off for Owl's treehouse. 
Owl, called Pooh. Do you need us to help you? Most certainly, declared Owl. This dusting will get done more quickly with the help of two good friends. Pooh and Piglet loved Owl's feather dusters. They were great for tickling and cleaning. Thank you, said Owl, when his home was shiny and clean. Now I'm free to do nothing. So Owl looked out of his window. Pooh counted up his paws, but that didn't take long. Piglet shifted in his seat. Maybe Tigger needs our help with something, suggested Piglet. Tigger, called Pooh, do you need us to help you? You're just the guys I wanted to see, cried Tigger. Picking up my toys would be much easier with three friends to help. Piglet put away the toys on the lowest shelf. Pooh and Owl put away the toys on the middle shelves. Tigger bounced up high to put away the toys on the top shelf. We're a great team, cried Tigger. Let's go see if Eeyore needs anything picked up. Eeyore, called Pooh. Oh, everyone gasped. Eeyore's house had fallen down. It's much better as a house when it's upright, said Eeyore. What happened? asked Pooh. Just what usually happens, said Eeyore. Wind blew it down. Well, said Pooh, it looks as if you could use some help. So Pooh, Piglet, Owl and Tigger helped Eeyore put his house together again. Then Owl showed the others how to tie, up, tie it up with string to make it stronger against the wind. The best way to build a house is with friends who help, said Eeyore. Thank you. You're welcome, said Pooh. And now I think it's time for a little something, don't you? But Pooh, we've been doing something all morning, said Piglet. Pooh patted his tummy. Time for something to eat. Tigger laughed. Let's bounce over and see what Rabbit's got cooking. They found poor Rabbit slumped in his lawn chair, mopping his brow with his handkerchief. Rabbit, asked Pooh, do you have anything good to eat? I've got a whole garden full of vegetables, sighed Rabbit, but I've been pulling weeds all day and I'm too tired to pick them. May we help? asked Pooh. Did you say help? asked Rabbit, cheering right up. Why, yes, that's exactly what I need. Just let me get everything organized, said Rabbit, who suddenly felt quite important and hardly tired at all. Pooh, you can pick potatoes. And Piglet, tomatoes. Tigger, you can pick the carrots, if Eeyore will pick the beans. And Owl, if you would put all the vegetables in the wheelbarrow and bring them to me, I will wash them. Soon, big juicy tomatoes, crunchy carrots, and snappy beans filled Rabbit's kitchen counter. Warm, steamy potatoes were cooking in a big pot. You have all been so helpful, cried Rabbit. To thank you, I want everyone to stay for supper. Mmm, yummy, said Pooh. While Rabbit finished cooking his vegetable stew, his friends all helped set the table. This is the best supper ever, said Pooh. A thank you supper for the best helpers in the Hundred Acre Wood, cried Rabbit. After the meal was over, Pooh and Piglet sat in their thoughtful spot for a while and did, well, they did nothing at all. Phew! It feels good to rest, sighed Pooh. Yes, agreed Piglet. 
doing nothing is much more fun after a busy day of helping. Can I help? Can I help you do the mowing? Yes, please help me do the mowing. Can I help you with the hoeing? Yes, please help me with the hoeing. Do the mowing, help with hoeing. Can I help you pull the weeds? Yes, please help me pull the weeds. Can I help you plant the seeds? Yes, please help me plant the seeds. Pull the weeds, plant the seeds, do the mowing, help with hoeing. Can I help you fill the bath? Yes, please help me fill the bath. Can I help you sweep the path? Yes, please help me sweep the path. Fill the bath, sweep the path. Pull the weeds, plant the seeds, do the mowing, help with hoeing. Can I help you lift the pail? Yes, please help me lift the pail. Can I help you wrap your tail? Yes, please help me wrap my tail. Lift the pail. Wrap your tail, fill the bath, sweep the path, pull the weeds, plant the seeds, do the mowing, help with hoeing. Can I help you squirt the hose? Yes, please help me squirt the hose. Can I help you dry your nose? Yes. Please help me dry my nose. Squirt the hose, dry your nose. Lift the pail, wrap your tail. Fill the bath, sweep the path. Pull the weeds, plant the seeds. Do the mowing, help with hoeing. Can I climb on your lap? Yes, please climb up on my lap. We've worked hard. Let's take a nap. Just be nice and help a friend. One morning, Eeyore woke up to find his tail missing. It's not the first time I've lost it, he said with a sigh. And I'm sure it won't be the last. Eeyore searched for his tail in his favorite thistle patch. He searched for his tail in the bog where he got stuck almost every day. And he searched for his tail in the cave where he often hid from donkey flies, who never had trouble finding him anyway. Oh well, moaned the gray donkey. Maybe my friends can help me find my tail, if they're not too busy to bother, that is. So Eeyore trudged over to Pooh's house. Will you help me find my tail? asked Eeyore. Oh, I'd be happy to, Pooh said, as soon as I'm done with this honey. I may be a while, though. Don't hurry on my account, Eeyore replied. Then Eeyore trudged over to Rabbit's house. Will you help me find my tail? Eeyore asked. Can't you see that I'm busy counting my garden tools? Grumbled Rabbit. You never know when something may be missing. Oh, but I do, Eeyore said sadly. Next, Eeyore trudged over to Piglet's house. I don't suppose you would help me find my tail, Eeyore asked. Oh dear, said Piglet, 
Do you really need my help now? I promised myself that I would rearrange all my furniture today. I see, said Eeyore frowning. I wouldn't want you to break a promise. Of course, Owl was very busy too. I really would help, said Owl, if I didn't have to dust my family portraits. Good luck to you, though. Happy tales. I mean, happy trails, Eeyore. Eeyore was not surprised to find that Kanga couldn't help either. I'm sorry, Kanga said, but I promised to take Tigger and Roo on a picnic. Maybe afterwards, Eeyore dear. I understand, said Eeyore, staring at the ground. Really, I do. Eeyore walked home slowly. He had never felt so gloomy. It was worse than the time everyone had forgotten his birthday. Even then they remembered in the end, Eeyore mumbled. This time no one cares. Back home, Eeyore was so upset that he decided to paint his house grey. When I'm done, Eeyore said to himself, I'll stand in front of my house and nobody will see me. I won't bother anyone, and no one will have to bother with me. Soon, Eeyore's little house was completely grey. Eeyore stood beside it, still as a statue. Just then, Pooh and the others arrived. They had finished all their chores and had decided to form a search party for Eeyore's missing tail. Eeyore was sure they did not see him standing in front of his house. I guess Eeyore isn't home, said Pooh, winking at Owl. What a shame, said Owl, winking back. I wanted to apologize for not helping him earlier. Me too, said Kanga. I didn't even invite him to our picnic. I could have counted my gardening tools later, said Rabbit. And I could have waited to rearrange my furniture, said Piglet. Since Eeyore isn't here, I guess I'll just leave these thistles for him, Pooh said. Leaning over to put them in Eeyore's house, Pooh spied something inside. Who picked up the something and held it up for everyone to see. My tail, Eeyore cried. Eeyore, everyone shouted, acting surprised to see him. I never thought to look in my house, Eeyore said. Thanks, everybody. That's what friends are for, said Pooh. Eeyore asked. Will you help me put my tail back on? I'll help you right now, Pooh replied, and he did. Eeyore didn't even have to ask twice. <laughs>